in heaven's name are you talking about? You may have misgivings, but don't go believe in that, Jack. That way lies damnation. I'm in no danger of damnation. I don't give a company f about your moral conundrum, you meat-headed sack. That's more or less the thing. And I want you to go out there, you, nobody else, one of your little minions. I want you to go out there, and I want you to punish the person who's responsible for murdering this poor little rabbit. Is that understood? I just want to hang out! No big deal! What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another Yo Yo Jerk Toy Review! I'm your host, Al Bundy! And today, we'll be looking at the Marvel Legends series! <laughs> she Hulk! All right, let's take a look at this package. We get our gigantic She-Hulk in this nice bubble. Get that nice retro feel on the card. Iron Man action. On the back of the card, we get a little bio. We get a look at the figure right here. Legal mush, legal shit, barcode. All right, gang, these figures are a giant pain in the ass. We got Excalibur right here. Basically, you just want to make a cut right here, go all the way down, make another cut right here, go all the way down, and then basically, you just cut along the bottom. Careful not to get She-Hulk's foot. So in the end, you should get a flap, and then you should be able to do the old pull-out game. And there she is for the quick look. Ooh. And I'll see you at the table. All right, gang, let's take a look at this figure. And right away, I just got to say it, they totally fucking nailed their face. Her hair looks like it came out of a John Byrne drawing. The expression is right on. The photo reel is always just amazing. The hair has lots of green highlights through it and tons of sculpting. Look at this. This is the John Byrne She-Hulk baby. And yeah, just all the way around this figure looks real good. So we'll start down at the feet. She's got a little swivel there. She's got this back and forth. Feels quality. Up at the knees unfortunately and my lights really highlighted that that her knees are not the same color as the rest of her legs. That's real shitty. She's double jointed pinless. She's got thigh swivel. Up at the waist, we get the purple suit. I'm pretty sure this is what she used to wear when she tooled around with the Fantastic Four. But I've read a ton of comics and it all gets kind of jumbled. But down at the waist, it is all just one piece down here. So no swivel at the waist. Up at the diaphragm, we have this ball joint. It goes around pretty good. That's not too bad. She's got some movement. Up on the chest, she's got medium boob meat, which she can't go full She-Hulk. I understand it's supposed to be in a store, but this is getting a little bit better. At the shoulders, no butterflies, but we get good up and down. Arm looks good, double jointed pinless. Same shit problem with the knees you get with the elbows. And she comes equipped with grabby hands. And you know what? The head gets a ton of range considering that this hairpiece is huge. Look at that. All right, we're gonna take a quick look at the accessories. She comes with two fisted hands and this broken ass gun that you can fit into her hands looks pretty good. It's just smashed to bits. And here she is smashing the gun and it fits in her hands perfectly and it looks really good. It's a fun new accessory. And here she is with the fisted hands and you get her into the classic pose. Just good fighting hands. And now we're gonna do some size comparisons. Here we have her with the latest comic book version of She-Hulk. They're about the same size. The hair just makes her bigger. Here she is with the first release that came in the Fantastic Four wave, Gray She-Hulk. And here we have the TV show She-Hulk. And it's actually a good figure. I really like this one. I just don't like the show. Next up, we have her with her favorite cousin. I think the size matches up really well in scale. Here she is next to Gladiator Hulk, Big Bad Red Hulk, 
Multicolored Hulk, Video Game Grey Hulk, Joe Fix It, Joe Fix It Again, and Big Bad Original Hulk. Here she is with Pawnee Bruce Banner, a little Logan action, and last up, here she is with Big Booty Rogue. And speaking of booties, I forgot to take a look at this one, and she's got a pretty big ass on that She-Hulk. So at the end of the day, and my final thoughts on this figure are, I am beyond stoked. They did a phenomenal job recreating the John Byrne She-Hulk design. The hair, the face, everything is great. The knees suck, the elbows suck, but it's really bad in this kind of lighting. But all in all, I'm digging it, yo! And that's all I got this time, people! I'd like to thank you for stopping by, and I'll catch you on the next review! Holy fuck! That was diabolical! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe!